Hi, I'm Josh with Jellyfish Lighting. This video covers creating a soffit program. For written instructions, visit our operations manual on our website at jellyfishlighting.com manual. A soffit program is used to create soffit downlight or accent lighting for your home or business. The create soffit mode can also be used to define every single light as a different color. Let me demonstrate how a completed soffit program looks. This type of a program simulates can lights and can produce an elegant downlighting effect. In order for the soffit mode to work properly, the zones do need to be set up with the correct number of lights on each zone. For more information on zone setup, on the lower menu bar, press the settings button, then select zones on the upper tab. To create a, so a program using the create soffit, First, make sure that only one zone is toggled on and that at only one zone is selected. I will next demonstrate how to create a downlighting program with one foreground color and one background color. The most common example of the foreground color will be white and the most common example of the background color will be black. With the Create Soffit tab active and the lower zone selected on our example, the first light blinks indicating the active light. If set is pressed, this active light becomes the accent color. If the light number is incremented past the first light, light number one becomes the background color, which in this case is black. The active light can be in incremented or decremented by pressing the plus or minus buttons on either side of the light number indicator to number two. The display on the app shows the lights numbers which are defined as the accent lights. All other lights are defined as background lights. So to create a soffit or accent program, only accent lights need to be selected. If a mistake is made in this process, it is easy to remove a selection. Remove the selection by pressing the reset button like this. Then define a new accent light. After all of the accent lights have been defined, the accent color for all of the lights can be simultaneously changed by defining a new accent color and applying it to all of the lights. To do this, the accent color can be changed by touching the accent color box which follows a color selector. From this screen, and a new color can be created or a primary color or custom color can be selected in this case, I'll change the accent color to a warmer white by doing this. After the accent color is created, press the button called Set All Color, and all of the accent lights will change to the new color. I will now demonstrate how to create a separate color for each light. This is done by changing the accent color before the Set button is pressed, like this. Start with a none of the accent lights defined. With the active light blinking on light number one, change the accent color to the desired color like this. Then press the set button and the current accent color is now the first light. Light number two is now the active color as it is blinking. Now change the accent color again by pressing the accent color box. Select a new color, then press set. This process can be followed for every light in the zone to create a completely custom sequence. Now let's look at the effects that are available on the create soffit page. Let's now explore the three effect settings, no effect, twinkle, and lightning. Let's change the effect setting from no effect to twinkle. Notice that a single light randomly twinkles at a given rate. 
To change the rate of the twinkle, adjust the slider just to the right of the effect selection. Now let's change the effect to lightning. Notice that now a random group of lights now flash. To change the rate of the lightning, adjust the slide just to the right of the effect selection. There are four other settings for adjustment, the brightness, the red, green, and blue levels. To adjust the brightness of the newly created program, adjust the brightness slider. To remove some of the red, green, or blue from the program, adjust the corresponding slider like this. Saving your new pattern. After the pattern has been created, it can now be saved. It is important to know how to save a pattern because only saved patterns can be recalled by timer or calendar events, or just recalled spontaneously. To save this or any pattern, press the Save button on the upper left corner of the screen. Then you'll have the option to enter a pattern name. I'll type in My Soffit Program. I can then select a pattern category so the pattern can be more easily found in the future. Or I can make a new category to save this pattern. I'm going to call a new, create a new category called Josh's Programs. Okay, now that I've created this new category, I notice the name Josh's Programs have been added to the pattern category list and it has been selected. So now I'm going to save this pattern. That is how you create a custom soffit program. Thank you for watching and enjoy your lights.